บ้าบ้าบ้าวิปปิดีวิปปิดีบูฮายมาเมจิชัน Save me from this propaganda of a circus. Help me! I'm stuck on a ball. Rawr. What? <laughs> I was recording something for the intro. Well, that got weird. Welcome back to More Cake Gifts from Badass Edible Art. I'm your girl, Jelena, and I'm gonna show you guys today how I made these cute and adorable little circus toppers. Aren't they so sweet? Let's go ahead and get started. For the first topper I'm gonna create is a lion. Anytime I create a topper that has to stand upright, I go ahead and add some Tylos powder to my fondant to ensure that my fondant will become nice and stiff to be able to hold up on its weight. And if you don't know what Tylos powder is, you can get it from any cake supply store and online on Amazon, which I've linked it down below. I'm just using Wilton's Tylos powder. It's just some powder that you add into your fondant and it kind of makes it into a gum paste, which it makes it more thicker. And when it starts to dry, it dries nice and hard. So it'll sound kind of like cement after a while. So let's go ahead and break apart a piece for the body. I'm gonna do a nice roll just to get it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna start shaping it, kind of like a, a rounded pyramid. And push it down on the table to get a flat bottom. So now I have a rounded pyramid. I'll put that off to the side. And now get a piece for the head. So I have a round piece and I have a cone-shaped piece. These off to the side. And now I'm gonna do my feet, creating a long snake. Now I have a nice long snake. I need four legs. I need to ensure that two of those legs go from the top of the neck of the lion to his bottom of his body. Measure that out. So these are his upper arms, and then we're gonna need some lower legs, which I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. And just roll that out a little bit more. So now I have two lower legs, and now what I'm gonna need is his fur, his mane, which is around his head. Rolling out a piece of fondant. I have these circle cutters here, and on the other side, there's scalloped edges. Okay, the scalloped edge. And now with the circle part. Okay. Now we're gonna need some ears. I'm gonna roll it in a circle in my hand and begin to now roll it in a pointed pyramid just like I did the body, and then flatten it down. Now the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and put on are my arms and legs. I'm calling them arms and legs, but they're just legs because he's a lion. And I'm gonna take one of those legs and the very top portion, just kind of bend it back like so. And then I'm gonna do that to the same thing with the other one. Figure out what part of the body that you want to be the side. I think I'm pretty happy with these two being the sides. Okay, so I'm gonna add my water on the side that's touching the body. A little bit of water goes a long way, but you wanna put water on every part of your fondant leg that's gonna be touching the body. See, just right here up against it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just softly smooth the upper part of this leg to the body, okay? So here's the back part so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now I have my top two legs, and what I'll be doing with this is using an X-Acto knife and going from the top in a diagonal in a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna cut it off so it looks angled like this. Same thing with the other one. And I cut those off because this is gonna be the part that's gonna be flushed up against the body. So let's go ahead and add some water up here and on the back of the leg. Just gonna give that a nice press. Now using a toothpick, I'm gonna add some water to the bottom of it and stick this right down the middle of the body. We're gonna let this dry for a good 15, 20 minutes. This is gonna be my front of the head. Here's my mane. What I'm gonna do is cut an opening and add some water going around the head and then placing my mane all the way around. 
adding water on the actual mane, mane as in its fur, and then I'm gonna cut off what's extra. So this is what it'll look like. So we're gonna let this dry on its own also. So I'm gonna stick it on some styrofoam, stick in a toothpick, no water, but just gonna go ahead and stick a toothpick in it just to help it stay upright. And I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my ears. And using the tip of the Dresden tool, I'm gonna go ahead and push down in the middle of the ear, adding a little bit of water at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the top of my head. Give it a nice little push down. I'm gonna make an accessory to this so the lion can stand on it. It's going to be a step. I'm not really too sure what it's actually called. I added some tylos to it. And now I'm just gonna use some yellow to decorate this. I have these cool like edge cutters. I've linked them down below for you if you're interested in purchasing them and using them for your circus cakes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the monkey. I have two different colors. I have a chocolate looking brown and I have a lighter brown. We're gonna go ahead and make the body in the same manner in which we made the lion's body. My fondant already has tylos in it, a cone shape or a rounded pyramid. I don't want them to be too pointy so I'm gonna push this top down. And since he's a monkey, I don't want him to be too tall either. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put his body off to the side. Now let's do his head. Starting with the piece of fondant, going round to smooth them, and then now making them into a ball. Now I don't want his head to be perfectly round, I want it more of an oval shape. So I'm just gonna roll it just to get a little bit of an oval shape. Not too much, but obviously it's not a perfect ball, okay? And now I'm gonna set this off to the side. Now let's go ahead and make his bottom legs, and we're gonna start off with a long, snake-like piece of fondant. We obviously want them to be thinner than the ones that the lion had. I want his arm to be as long as his body. So we're gonna use the body for measurement, and then just cut double that. Two of his arms, and now we're gonna do two legs. And now for his two legs, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my last piece in half. So what I have is, now our monkey's face is going to have a lighter part to it. We're gonna roll out the lighter brown, and we wanna roll this out pretty thin. We don't need it too thick. I'm gonna use my smaller circle here. I'll cut two, one just in case I mess up the first one. And what I wanna do on one side of the circle, I wanna cut out like a little V shape. I'm gonna gently just round that off. And now we're just gonna push in the sides very softly and spread out the bottom half. And then put what I'm gonna do is right here on the sides where we pushed in on that lighter brown part, I'm gonna push in on the darker brown part also. You can use a tool or you can use your fingers. Using no water, I'm gonna stick a toothpick directly down the middle of his bottom half and stick him in the styrofoam. Now for the monkey's body, we're gonna go ahead and grab his legs first. And just as we did the lion's legs, we're gonna do the same thing for the monkey's legs gonna take them I'm going to bin back the top half like so on both of them and using water for adhesive you're just gonna add a little bit of water to the side of the leg using that other circle I had cut out I'm gonna actually make this circle more of an oval shape and because he's so cute and adorable he needs a little belly button we're just gonna go ahead and push grabbing another toothpick i'm gonna add some water to the bottom half for adhesive and stick this right down the middle and i'm going to put one of his arms on cutting in a 45 degree angle just so it has that little slant to it adding water to that slant i'm gonna hold it there i'm gonna use my star cutter here to hold up the arm the other arm i can't quite put on quite yet so 
I'm gonna grab another toothpick, add some water to it, and I'm just gonna stick it right through like a kebab and just give it a little bit of a bend and I'm gonna keep it just like that. piece of fondant here that I rolled out for the elephant accessory it's going to be a blue ball that the elephant's gonna sit on and I'm gonna cut out a big old circle and using a one and a half little styrofoam ball I'm gonna sit it in the middle of that circle you want to use just a very smidge amount of water you don't need a lot and then begin to wrap the ball with the fondant covering it as best as you can and as smooth as you can Just gonna go stick the bottom of this ball with a toothpick. Stick it in my styrofoam. Using some of my yellow fondant and my little itty bitty star cutter. I'm gonna cut out a couple of stars. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just put my little stars on. Now for the elephant, I just have one color for his body. I'm going to take a very large portion and roll it in my hand to smooth him out, okay? And again, we're gonna go for that pyramid, rounded pyramid or cone shape, but we don't wanna make him too pointy, just kinda like bulky, okay? Now instead of the bottom half being the flat part, the bottom half is actually gonna be the pointed part. And I'm gonna go ahead and stand him up and just push him down a little bit. So now the pointed part is a little more flat. So this is my bottom, this is my top. And I'm just going to use any tool that I have available, which is a Dresden tool right now, and I'm gonna use it to make a nice crease at the bottom part. And that's gonna signify his legs. So that's one, two, that's a, then I'm gonna roll him over to his other side and do the same exact thing. Don't forget, as you're pushing here, push down here at the bottom. So now we have one, two, roll him three, four. But then again, now we're gonna roll him off to the other side. So this is the front, this is the back. We need the side, his front area. And I'm gonna do that again. And then now his back side. So if you look at it this way, it's kind of like a tooth. One, two, three, four legs, and I wanna make sure he's flat on my surface. Gonna move him around just so the bottom part is flat so I know he can stand up on his own. Using some more gray fondant, begin to make a round ball, and then choose a side and start to pinch out a little bit of fondant at the same time rotating the ball. So that little bit of fondant will be even that you're pulling out. I don't want it to be too long. I want it to be nice and cute little snout. I think I'm happy with that. And now I'm just gonna lift it up at the same time. I'm sure he's a cute little snout. I'm gonna push right down the middle of it, make a little hole. I'm also going to give him a little bit of a smiley face, just using my Dresden tool. So if you saw my frill tutorial, then you know what I'm doing. If you didn't, click the eye at the top or the link down below.
thanks for joining me for another tutorial today. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, I can see what you guys make with your fondant this week. Maybe they're gonna be cute little fondant circus toppers like these for a cute little circus kit that's coming in the future. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at yes underscore ma'am underscore sweets. I feel like I always am wrapping that, like at yes underscore ma'am underscore sweets. And make sure you guys go ahead and check my website. I updated it yesterday. I have all the links down below of all the tools, supplies, the links where you can purchase them from, the links where you can purchase my merch from, and um, yep, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.